Well, it was two years ago today that Abby Williams and Libby German were last seen. Their bodies were found a day later, later in a wooded area in Carroll County. Today, their killer remains at large. Police say the investigation is just as active today as it was two years ago. News 8's Richard Essex is in Carroll County near where the girls' bodies were found. He joins us live. And Richard, did police today give any updates on the investigation? The police are being very, very tight lipped about this case. I want to give you a look at where the girls were last seen. It was two years ago that Libby German and Abby Williams were dropped off by a family friend to hike up and down this, this trail. They were out here to take pictures. And it was the next day the girls were found dead. Diane Erskine is Abby Williams' grandmother. This afternoon, she sat just 20 feet from the men that are trying to find her granddaughter's killer. I don't have the words to say the, the pain that we watch their mothers go through. I mean, we're the grandparents, and of course, you have a special love for your grandchildren. But to watch your child lose a child. After two years, police aren't saying much about the case. We can't tell you where Abby and Libby died, what time, or if there was additional DNA recovered from the scene. At any point, do you feel like you're going to answer those questions? At this point, we don't want to comment on, on any, anything about the investigation. We're here to, to, to focus on uh, Abby and Libby and focus on that, look, this is not a closed case. The press briefing went on for about 30 minutes, and we are no closer to getting answers about this case than we were two years ago. The frustration among family is held in check, however. Jenny Crum, a friend of the family, is more than vocal about her frustration. Is there information that they would like the public to know? I think there is, but I don't. They can't tell us anything, and what we want to know, we're not, you know, getting answers for. They they know, and they're not they're not letting us know nothing, and it's frustrating. The families of both girls, Abby Williams and Libby German, want you to take a good look at their pictures and call police if you have anything that can help. Uh, I'm frustrated the fact that we don't now. I'm not frustrated at law enforcement. I'm frustrated the fact, you know, I'm frustrated right along with them. They're frustrated too. But uh, we're, we're waiting on that one tip. But in this case was a sketch drawing that was released by police. It's the man that you see over my left shoulder. And again, the family would like you to take a very good look at this guy in this sketch. And if you recognize him, call police. In Delphi, Richard Essex, Wish TV News 8. Richard, thank you. A food drive and community remembrance ceremony is about to get underway to mark the two years since the girls were reported missing. It is taking place at the Delphi United Methodist Church off North Highway 421. The event goes until 7 o'clock. There will be visitation with some family members of Abby and Libby. We have a crew there. Watch for a live report tonight at 6. And tomorrow evening, Libby's family is holding the second annual Light the Night for Libby event. It'll be from 530 to 730 at the gazebo on the courthouse lawn in Delphi. They encourage anyone who wants to celebrate the memory of Libby to join them. Police and prosecutors again today asking for your help in solving the murders of Abby Williams and Libby German. Here's how you can provide information. You can email a tip to the email address that you see on your screen, or you can also call the FBI tip line, that number 844-459-5786. So what makes for a good tip? Well, the prosecutor outlined that at today's news conference. He says investigators are looking for a suspect's name, date of birth, or approximate age, a physical description such as height, weight, eye or hair color, an address or a location of the suspect, vehicle information such as a license plate number or year, make, model, and color of vehicle, a specific reason for the tip, like why they could be a suspect, a motive for the crime, and a possible connection to Delphi. If you'd like to see today's entire news conference, we've posted it on our website. There you'll also find previous stories on the case as well as the email and phone number to call in tips. You can find it all right now at wishtv.com.